All right, we're back with another Dentistry Basics video. This time we're gonna be talking about what major you should have or could have if you hope to go to dental school. When looking at undergrad majors, some of the most important things to consider is what are the degree requirements, what additional classes will you need to take as prerequisites for dental school, and overall, how much time and money are you gonna be spending on that process? If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Haley and I'm currently a third year dental student at Michigan and I'm here to provide any insight that I can into my life in dental school and questions that you have about becoming a dentist one day. First things first, choosing a major that is going to cover all of the prerequisites for the dental schools that you're interested in is going to save you time and money. So that is ideal if you can find a school that offers a major that includes all of the requirements for your dental school. For example, these are the requirements for Michigan's dental school. And these are some of the required classes for the major that I had at Michigan State University in human biology. As you can see, my human biology degree pretty much covered every single prerequisite for the dental school that I now attend. The only class that I had to take in addition was basic psychology 101. For the other school in my state, which is Detroit Mercy, my degree also covered every single class that I needed to take. Within college degrees, you're gonna find that there are required classes that every single student with that major is going to take. And then there is a list of classes that you can select from to complete the rest of your degree. And so when you're going through that process, you're gonna wanna choose classes that are prerequisites for dental school or relevant to classes that you're gonna take in dental school or lastly, classes that will boost that GPA, those easy classes. Because after all, you need to get into dental school in the first place and usually it really helps if you have a high GPA. Continuing on with the example from my undergrad degree, this listing says you have to take 12 credits from this whole list. So from that, I knew I wanted to take microbiology, histology, anatomy, physiology, and anything else that was required for the different dental schools I was applying to. If you wanna know more about my dental school application, I will link a playlist and relevant videos below. I pretty much have a video about everything from the DAT interviews application already on my channel. When it comes to your undergraduate degree, you're gonna find that the major you choose is only going to cover a portion of the required credits that you need to graduate from that four-year university. So all those extra spaces can be filled up with additional classes, and that's probably similar to what your advisor in college is gonna tell you. And my opinion is that you should use those credits for easy, fun classes classes that you find interesting, classes that are going to boost your GPA. And for me, I chose to add on an additional minor that was business related, but still pretty easy. I didn't want anything that was gonna be taking my time away from my tough science classes or anything that could potentially lower my GPA. But let's say you went into college and you chose a major completely unrelated to the prerequisites that you need for dental school, or you were considering doing that. A reason I would advise against that if you're early on and you're decision-making process. As you can see here with my same undergraduate university, all of the classes required for a business degree does not include any of those prerequisites. Although some schools might only have five or six science class prerequisites, that's still an additional five or six classes you're gonna need to take outside of your degree that are gonna cost time and money. And these are really precious commodities in your life, especially because your undergrad education is only a small experience in the grand timeline of what it's gonna take to become a dentist and become a really well-skilled dentist. You need to get through undergrad to get into dental school and the average debt for dental students graduating in 2020 was $300,000. Even after you graduate dental school, then you're gonna be taking continuing education classes that are also gonna cost money. So I just wanna give a word of caution that you wanna be smart and savvy with your decisions of what you're doing in undergrad so that you don't have regrets later. I like to keep these dentistry basics videos very short and sweet and to the point. Of course, you can apply everything I talked about today to your specific undergrad institution and the specific dental schools that you are interested in. 
And if you have any questions at all, please message me on Instagram. It's Haley Schultz Dental. I'm always there as a resource for you. And the reason you're taking all these classes in the first place and choosing your major is to get a good score on the DAT, get into dental school ultimately, and have a good background for the classes you're gonna take in dental school. And that's actually what our next Dentistry Basic video will be about, is what do you learn in dental school? What kind of classes and clinical requirements do you have? So if you're interested in that video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you love the Dentistry Basic series. Leave any questions that you have below in the comments, or if it's a more personal situation, again, please send me a message on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.